Hello and welcome to Coach's Corner. My name is Dean Ma. Today I'm going to talk to you about target-based pressure practice, a very important part of your practice routine that will help you to play your best on the golf course. And what I'd love for you guys to do is to come down with either just yourself or with some friends and actually put your swing under a bit of pressure and play a really fun game that you can do here in the golf simulator. So I'm just going to walk you through the steps to making sure you can play this game. Uh, you would come into the simulator, usually the practice area would be open with the range, you can actually go back out of that and you come to this screen. The next thing you do is you grab the cursor here and you press on games and you go to this game called capture the flag. From there you can press on the environment or the type of, uh, type of targets that you're going to be faced with and you're going to play expert, skill or beginner. Uh, the expert, there's a lot more wind, the targets are a lot longer and uh, the greens are a bit firmer and then you add your players. So it's going to be myself against Jared, the associate professional here uh, and I hope I can beat him even though he's not here. Um, so let me talk to you about target-based practice and why it's important. Uh, for me there are three different stages of practicing to make sure that you play your best on the golf course. The first one is to do technique practice. So we all need to start off with potentially a lesson or just to do some practice on the things that have worked in the past and just practicing those movements so that you have um, a bit of control over where the golf ball is going, that you're striking it cleanly and uh, you feel like your swing is in a consistent nice place. Once you do that, you then need to put yourself under a bit of pressure because that's what everyone experiences when they go out to play, is target-based pressure. You stand out there in certain holes, let's say the 17th, and you can see a bit of pressure there. You can see I don't want to pull it left and I don't want to put it into that front right bunker. So you've got a bit of pressure to the shot that you're about to hit. And a lot of the time, people don't understand what actually happens to their swing when it's under pressure. And if you don't practice under it a lot, you don't really know how to handle it. So to me, I put myself under this pressure by playing against my friends. And uh, let me just press another button to start the game. So I press start game down the bottom there. And uh, when I used to practice when I was younger, I had a lot of, I was lucky enough to have enough friends that played golf as well. So we'd always be competing against each other. So we'd work on our techniques, then we'd try to beat each other in the many games that we played. And that helped to push us to sort of play our best and be able to handle the pressure of trying to hit a good shot when you really need to. And uh, I would say recently I played a pressure game and I hadn't really put my swing under a lot of pressure for a while and it didn't really hold up very well. I was hitting shots that I wasn't expecting and that sort of made me uh, doubt my swing and doubt what I was doing. And if you're in that sort of position, it's very hard to dig yourself out of that hole. I know a lot of you have felt that as well when you've gone out to play and I want to help myself and help you guys to um, bounce back from a bad round and learn how to do it. So what I'd first do is work on my technique a bit, then I want to put it under a bit of pressure. So here we are, uh, we're on top of some skyscrapers and we have to hit this shot 130.1 meters and hopefully hit it near to the pin so that you can get nearest the pin and capture the flag. So that's what capture the flag means, you hit the nearest shot to the flag than any of your friends or if it's against yourself. First up here is Jared. He's gonna see how he goes and I wanna judge the wind because that affects this when we're up on top of these skyscrapers. We've got a five meter crosswind into us. So I'm gonna hopefully start this a little right of the target. And the green is a little bit above me up on that skyscraper. So I'm probably gonna to have to hit this closer to 150 meters. I've got eight iron here and we'll see how we go. Shots away. So it's up in the air, it's looking okay. Looking like we're sailing pretty good. Get on the green. Oh, bounce. Hey, we got on the green, wonderful. Okay, so unfortunately that was Jared, so I didn't want to do that. But uh, it's given me, look at this wonderful fireworks. 13.7 from the hole. Not too bad for a shot like that. And uh, now I have to select another target or it actually will give me automatically another target. But you basically get three shots. Uh, you're gonna go against hopefully the other guys or ladies that you're playing against and you're trying to beat them, trying to get nearest the pin. Uh, you get nine shots in total and you'll find by putting yourself under that pressure, uh, you'll hopefully execute better. And I noticed, you know, uh, when my swing gets under pressure, I generally block the shot. So I got better at sort of really turning through the ball a little bit more aggressively and uh, making sure I'd stop trying to steer the ball. And that helped me, I think, to hopefully bounce back from uh, my last round, but we'll see. Uh, let's do this one again. So we've got 140 meters downwind uh, off the right. So Jared, this is your shot again. Let's see how he goes. Shots away, is it gonna draw back? Here it comes. That could be long. Oh, the downwind. 
Ah, oh, the wind really carried that. Okay, I didn't expect to hit it that far. Uh, <laughs> 83 meters away, so it's gone down the skyscraper, and uh, unfortunately, Jared hit a bad shot there, so that's unfortunate for Jared. I have a better chance of beating him. But uh, again, come down the simulator, play these games, you'll have a lot of fun, and then go out in the golf course. So the third step, once you've done your technique, your pressure practice in a closed environment, then you go into the open environment on the golf course, and you play the different slopes, you challenge yourself on holes that you find difficult, and you try to get more comfortable with the types of shots that you're gonna face here at Eleanor. And as we know, there are a lot of different slopes and a lot of different challenges. So get out there, and then once you've done that and you feel confident, go ahead and play some competition. And I think you'll find you'll execute better. I think you'll have better scores. Uh, but just don't play comp, 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 comp all the time and maybe a little bit of range practice. Try range, a bit of target-based fun, go out in the course, play with some socially, and then play competition. And you'll find you'll actually improve at a lot faster rate and hopefully drop your handicap and win more competitions and beat all your friends. So good luck with it, hope it have fun. And if you have any questions or you wanna set this up in here, just let us know in the pro shop and we'll do that for you. Enjoy your month.